What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing a unit that I'm just gonna assume most of you probably don't have rainbowed or really have any orb investment in at all. Int Super Saiyan Kid Goten. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he's a bad unit by any means. In fact, I think he's actually quite solid, but at the same time, he's just not that exciting. And I'm sure most of you probably have far more powerful or hype int units to invest your orbs into. That being said, this is part of the reason why channels like mine exist, so that you guys can see what this unit that you probably will never ramble yourselves can do at 100% hidden potential. So with that out of the way, let's take a quick look at what this kid is all about before we jump into the actual gameplay. So first things first, here are his stats at rainbow status. Not too bad, a little bit overwhelming, but solid overall. And an important thing to keep in mind is that this kid does not have a Dokkan Awakening yet. So once he eventually does get that Awakening, those numbers should be quite a bit higher, hopefully. Hopefully quite a bit higher. His leader skill is int and physical types key plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 20%, which in all honesty is absolutely atrocious. You will never be running him as a leader. And this is like literally your first week of playing the game and you don't have any other better leaders. But aside from that, that leader skill is a throwaway. His super attack is triple Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to enemy and raises allies attacks by 20% for one turn, pretty standard. His passive is a hero like his father, attack plus 80% and high chance to reduce damage received by 40%. So he actually has quite some potential to be a very solid tank. And speaking of potential, his hidden potential skills, we went with 15 critical, six additional, and five dodge, which is built into every single int unit. So I really didn't have a say in that matter. His link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, The Innocence, and Prepared for Battle. Hopefully, when he does get an Awakening, he will also have Fierce Battle. Fingers crossed, please Bandai, no shafting the limit. This kid deserves Fierce Battle, please. And for his categories, he's in Hybrid Saiyans and Majin Buu Saga. So, there's the unit itself. And the team we're bringing him on is a super in team because we are taking him on super battle road. And in my opinion, this is really where he shines the best because he's not really optimal right now on Hybrid Saiyans or uh, Majin Buu Saga, but I do think he's quite useful on a super battle road team. In fact, the first time I cleared this level of super battle road, he was on my team. So let's see what happens. This is the team we're bringing and these are the items I usually go with. Let's just jump right into it, guys. Fair warning. Fair warning. It's been quite some time since I've actually done Super Battle Road, so there's no guarantee that I won't die <laughs> during the showcase. And if I die, then I die. You know, like I'm not gonna try. I mean, unless I, I die on the first turn. So unless he like supers me 20 times and I die on the first turn, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the flow. And if I die, then I die. You know what I mean? But first turn, actually, we got the Chaozu stun off, so that was super clutch, guys. If you haven't taken Chaozu on a Super Battle Road run, then consider doing it because he is amazing, man. He stuns the entire enemy team once per fight. I probably should have gotten LR Vegito super off. Damn it, yo, I was not paying attention trying to talk to you guys at the same time. Uh, I'm probably going to be a little bit less talkative than I normally am in these showcases because Super Battle Road is no no joke, man. Like, <laughs> you make one mistake, you like lose your track train of thought for one second and you're done. You get supered, you're dead. Okay, perfect. So we have Goten in the front here and uh, he's taking a ton of attacks so we can kind of see how well he can tank these. Um, we'll see, like damage wise, I'm not expecting too much, but I think tanking wise, he should do do quite okay. It's not gonna be the best tanking because even if his passive does activate, it's only a 40% damage reduction, which I expect to go higher when he gets an awakening. But look at that, okay, 26K regular attack. Not too bad, and he got a dodge off, damn, that's crazy, okay. So 26k, 26k, a dodge, and 16k. That's actually really good for normal attacks. But then, of course, if you compare it to, like, LR Vegito, it sucks. But LR Vegito, yo, yo, LR Vegito and LR Gogeta, they're just broken, man. They just make Super Battle Road a joke, an absolute joke. Before, yo, you guys remember how hard, how much of a struggle these Super Battle Road levels were? But now that we have these two LRs, um, <laughs> any team they're on clears through Super Battle Road like nothing. And uh, I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's a little bit upsetting too that like a bunch of people now won't be able to know the pain <laughs> of trying over and over again and then dying and having to like reload and try again but anyways 
I guess I, I can't be like too upset about it because it did help me clear Super Bad Road a lot easier. But at the same time, man, like these guys are just OP. Like they're just stupid. Look, look at that. This guy just tanked a regular attack for 98 damage. Like what is that? What is that? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Yo, they're not the focus here. We are here to talk about Int Goten. And so far he's doing okay. I, th I think so far he's doing quite good. 26k normal attack tanking is actually not bad for Super Bad Road at all. Now I'm interested to see how much he can tank a Super 4. Hopefully less than hopefully less than 80k. I think anywhere around 50 to 80k is actually really good considering usually it would do like 150k or so. Okay, here we go. Um, Chiaotzu is useless now because he already got his stun off once. And we're gonna put, yeah, we're gonna put Goten in the front here to take those attacks and see, uh, see what he can do. To be fair, okay, to be fair, if you have LR Vegito, you probably want to put him, um, in front of, I mean, like, in front of attacks more often than Kid Goten. Kid Goten is really more of a secondary tank on this team. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's a good tank, right? But he's not going to tank nearly as well as the LRs. Just just something to keep in mind. Today, I'm putting him in more... In like, I'm putting Goten over LR Vegito because we want to test him, right? But in most cases, if you're doing Super Battle Road, you're doing a run with LR Vegito and Int, uh, Int Kid Goten on your team, you want to... You, you want LR Vegito to, to take priority as a tank. That, that's, just, that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. But anyways, um, we should be done this level soon. And then we're going to move right along to the second fight. Like, what is this, man? I haven't used a single item in the fight yet. And I don't think I really have to. Yeah, I, I don't have to at all. <laughs> what is that, man? That, that was never a thing back in the day. Back in the day, you would have to use at least one to two items per, per fight. And now with, like, the LRs... Um, they're not necessary anymore. It's, it's just really not necessary anymore. Okay, now we got Frieza. There's going to be a bunch of enemies, and this is one of the easier ones. Okay, actually, there's just three. It's not too bad still. It's not too bad. Generally speaking, you want to have fights on Super Battle Road with multiple enemies, right? Because the more enemies there are, the, the less HP they have individually, and it actually makes things a lot easier. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's kill the Doria first. And uh, should I heal up? I should probably heal up. I'm going to do Princess... Nope. Let's do Android 8. Let's do Android 8. And... We should get 50% more defense as well. So Goten should shine a little bit more than last time too. But uh, so far, I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. Okay. Cool. We got a super and it's going to take it for 55k. Not bad, guys. 55k and he tanked the regular attack from Zarbon or um, the Doria for 8k. I'm impressed. 9, 9 10k there. Um, I guess the real test is to see how much damage Gogeta will take. 34k. There you go. Yeah, 34k, 23k. So Gogeta, who doesn't really have any tanking capabilities, takes attacks for like 30 to 40 you know, 20 to 30k, while Goten with his tanking passive is taking attacks for like under 10k, which is which is not bad at all. And we got the stun off here, so we don't have to worry about anything here. And uh, there you go. By the way, is anyone playing Red Dead Redemption 2 right now? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are playing Red Dead. Um, I literally just got it in the mail today because I ordered it off Amazon. I don't know if you guys are aware. Amazon had this huge issue with stock, at least in Canada. I'm not sure about the States, but in Canada... Amazon had this huge issue with getting the game in stock and a bunch of people were super pissed if you go on the website um, Go on the reviews for the game right now on Amazon it, They're really bad because and it's not for the game though They're not saying the game is bad people are just really pissed off at Amazon because they totally messed up their order and The game's been out for like almost a week now, right or something like that around a week and we finally are getting our orders in so there you have it. So I haven't, I haven't really opened it yet. It's still in its wrapper, but I am super, super excited to play this game, guys. And um, yeah, I, I'm looking at reviews for it, watching reviews, and from what I can tell, it's basically the best game of all time. It's just like the greatest video game ever created. And I've been talking to my friends about it too in real life, who have been playing it, and they really love it. So uh, I'm excited to check it out. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are playing it, if you're enjoying it, what you think of it. Is it the greatest game of all time, or is it overhyped? Just let me know. Let me know what you think. Yeah, man, we're we're doing pretty well here. We're doing we're we're doing really well here. <laughs> I wasn't really, I wasn't really expecting to have too much trouble. Um, I really just really wanted to show off the the kid Goten, and I think we're doing a good job of that over here. Should I have put? 
Yeah, oh, no, I should have put the friend Vegito in rotation because he's, that one's rainbow. Mine has one dupe at the moment, which means that he'll do okay. But yo, if, if you could ever have a rainbow Gogeta in, or Vegito in rotation, you want that rainbow Vegito in rotation. <laughs> I was hoping that we could get more transformations off, like more fusions off, but yeah, with the thing, with the way these teams are set up, like, it, <laughs> yeah, even even with Super Battle Road doing so much damage and going below 50% HP, it's still really hard to get a fusion off because you just can't make it to turn six. By by the time you make it to turn six, you're either dead. Nice dodge from Goten there. You're either dead or um, the enemy's dead. Yeah, you, you you really never make it to turn six still. So I really wish they didn't make the fusion requirements so difficult. Like if, if they did just did four turns or even no turn restriction, just made it 50% HP or less, these units would be so much more enjoyable to use. Well, at least, at least we have Goku. At least we have UI Goku, who does get his transformation off quite often because he doesn't have a turn restriction. But yo, I, I, I want to see that LR Vegito more often, man. Those, those counters are fire. Those counters are beautiful. But uh, what can you do? It is what it is. Okay. Enough complaining from me. I'm just... Ooh, Dokkan attack. Okay, so... Maybe this will take out the entire team. Okay, that would be awesome. Yo, that would be lit. Okay, can we just take out the entire Android team here? And try to focus. Get this Dokkan attack off. Perfect. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Got it. Clutch. Okay. Doesn't always turn out that way when I'm trying to do these showcases, but today we did good. Can we get a critical? Can we can we just kill this entire Android team in one go and move on to the last fight and just call it a day, man? What are we gonna hit for? Three, three mil? I'm gonna say three. Ooh, ooh, close, close. We almost we almost killed it, but I think we're good here. I think UI Goku will take care of it. Maybe, possibly. All right, okay, we're done. Oh, oh no, we're not. Okay, you know what? Okay, Gohan will go. Gohan's got this. Gohan's got this. <laughs> oh, can they please revamp LR Gohan super attacks? All these new super attacks, like with every successive card, every new card that comes out with an absolutely fire super attack, like the LR Vegeta or the um, AGL Cooler that just came out, they all have amazing, like amazing, amazing super attacks. And every time a new card comes out with an amazing super attack, it just makes LR Gohan super attack look more and more pathetic. Like, could they not have at least animated him walking towards the screen as opposed to just like his card picture, just the JPEG, like zooming in slowly? It's so dumb, man. I understand it's a really old card. I, I, I get that, you know, I, I totally get that, but. They, they need to rework it, like at this point, it, something needs to be done to, to update it to modern standards, man. <laughs> uh, but it, that's that's another topic for another video. Maybe I'll make a video just complaining about how awful his card art is. <laughs> or no, his, his card art is good, his card art is good. I mean his super attack, just how awful super attack is. Um, man, he, he ate those supers for quite a bit of damage, man. Is it because is it because he, his passive didn't activate? Because you guys know his passive is not guaranteed, right? It's a high chance, which is like somewhere between 50 to 70 percent. Haven't really looked it up, but um, somewhere between 50 to 70 percent chance to activate for that 40 percent tanking. But sometimes it doesn't activate, and when it doesn't activate, you're kind of screwed because he doesn't have that high defense. <laughs> so I feel like that was one of those situations where the passive didn't activate, or maybe these guys just do a lot of damage, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we we gotta heal up here. Okay, but look how easily this team is getting through Super Battle Road. I've used one item so far. One item. If I got lucky, I, this might might have been an itemless run. This could have been an itemless run if I really just focused and got lucky with the orbs and the RNG and all those things. But I, I, oh crap, that was an accident. <laughs> My bad. It doesn't really matter. Who cares? Um, we we got this. It's in the bag, but. Just look how easy this stuff was, man. And uh, the reason I didn't heal up here, I didn't really care, was because um, Chao Tu got the stun off, so they're not going to attack us. It's basically a free Ghost Usher every single fight. So um, if you're doing uh, Super Battle Road with Super Int, then make sure you bring that Chao Tu. And then for Super Tech, make sure you bring that Tech Jocko. That Tech Jocko is super clutch as well. Same, he, they, he does basically the same thing as the... Um, as the Chiaotzu, so you know e either one will work for something like World Tournament, but of course with Super Battle Road, you're locked down to a specific type. So yeah, make sure to bring those two respective guys when you're running Super Battle Road with those teams. 
I think we, yo, we're, we're, we're pretty much done here. We're like, uh, well, we'll see how much Goten can tank for probably one more time, because I'm assuming next turn we'll be able to take out this entire squad. But I hope you guys are enjoying the showcase. I hope, you know, you guys just uh, got something out of this video. I, I, I don't know if it's really the most exciting showcase necessarily, but I think this kid does deserve some justice. And um, maybe uh, when he does get a Doken Awakening eventually, I will also do a showcase of him rainbowed in his Doken Awakening form, in his TUR form. But right now, to, uh, you know, before that actually happens, I think it's, it's, it was worth it. It was worth to do the showcase just to see how good he can be on Super Battle Road, which is a mode that some people still struggle with. I know some of, some of you guys, like more veteran players, are like, yo, this th this thing is easy, man. Like, why is anybody still looking for tips and still wondering which teams to bring? Just bring whatever random team and you're good. Just bring LR Vegito and uh, LR Gohan and you're good to go. But keep in mind that not everybody has those OP as cards. And if you're one of those, char uh, one of those players that don't have, you know, LR Vegito or LR Gohan, and you need to build another team that can still work. To be fair, th th these guys make Super Battle Road super easy. They make it an absolute joke, but if you don't have them, you can still build a team that can take care of it. Like, it's still possible to beat Super Battle Road without um, LR Gohan and LR Vegito. You just need to be a little bit more strategic, and I think that this kid, Goten, is definitely a good addition to any team um, any super battle would run. He, he he tanks damage good. He does okay damage. It, it's not the best. I mean, like, look at that 478k crit. It's not amazing, but it's some damage. It's it's still noteworthy. It's still noteworthy damage. So his, his he will give you a little bit of damage, but more importantly, he'll give you good tanking. So uh, you guys have been struggling with uh, super int or rather extreme tech super battle road, then give it a shot. Throw them on your team, see what happens, and uh, if you guys are man able to clear it because of my tips. Then let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be really happy to hear about it, man. I'll be really, really happy. I, I just like helping people, honestly. That's why I started this channel in the first place, right? I like helping people get better at this game, and if people are struggling with anything, then I want I want to, to, to be there to like give you guys some advice and hopefully get you through whatever thing you're struggling with. Anyways, I went on a tangent there, totally unrelated to the video, but... <laughs> There you have it guys, we just cleared through Super Battle Road. Let's see how long it took. Of course, I was talking a little bit, so it might might have hampered my progress a bit, but it took 14 minutes. Not too bad. Not my fastest run, but also not my slowest run. And that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this my showcase of this Int Super Saiyan Kid Goten. Like I said, decent tank, and he's only going to get better with a Dokkan Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of him and whether or not you enjoy the showcase. If you did enjoy the showcase, I might actually also do a showcase for his counterpart. What was, what was it? Super Saiyan Kid Trunks. Yeah, I might do a showcase for the tech Super Saiyan Kid Trunks as well, which is basically... A very similar card, but of course in a Trunks form and also tech. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that as well. But that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Um, as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if you haven't yet, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad. Now, if you enjoy what you're seeing, and while you're at it, also hit that notification bell. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.